Hey guys, what is going on? Eagle Jam here. Back with some spore, and this isn't gonna be your normal spore video. This is gonna be a very short video. You can see I'm in the space stage. And uh, I see these bridge trails. I'll explain that here in a minute. This is a separate world, separate game, separate everything. Um This is a world I've been doing on my own. Just non-recording just to have fun with it because I love spore. And I've gotten to the point of befriending someone that's uh yeah I befriended the Grox <laughs> and uh, yeah so this is how I did it look at this I have the dark injections mod installed so that with that I was able to purchase this the angry ray which gives you you know my it's like it's breaking galactic code <laughs> but it's a lot cheaper than a planet buster which is the normal route to do it and if you watch some other spoiler let's plays terrace hd bought this had no idea what it is and ruin relationship with almost everyone but meh it's it seems like it's not that bad since you, it's it's early game warfare tech Seem that doesn't seem that bad, but it is. So I went to the center of the galaxy. You now I have like this is like a couple days into this. I reckon I played to like two, three in the morning. A couple days into it, and I used this on. I think it was, it was on a tribal planet because I hadn't found any any uh, civilizations other than the Grox. Used it used it three times and got me plus fifty for breaking glass code. Missions up to plus 50. Um, then I, I created a super power because I had the. I was. What was I? I was a little messed up for some reason, a little glitch. But I was friendly and religious. So as a diplomat. And as a diplomat, I get the gracious greedy super power. And uh, yeah. Look at that thing. So I can't trade yet. In our and let's see what else do I got. Plus I for green to help you, uh, help them. Um, gifts give them four hundred thousand dollars. Give you plus ten on the gifts, and it, and eventually that will go down. Like occasionally go go down one, so just give them like fifteen grand and they'll go back up to ten, and then. The most important one is using friendly tools, which I use like five or six fireworks. I put down an embassy somewhere, and then I have the super happy rate, which is like 1.6 million a homeworld, I believe. A lot of money. But the Grox missions give you a crap ton of money anyway. Like, I had one of the missions worth 1.5 million. So it just depends. So, let's see. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do something. The purpose of this video, I have gone ahead and gone to my home world and felt fitted with all, I think, seven or eight cities to get on home world with max defense and an uber turret. Because what's about to happen will destroy all of my colonies pretty much. And I think you have to have a home world be s safe. Or you get sent back or something because it is homeworld. So. Let him talk. I've never done this personally, so let's see what happened. Three, two, one. Look at that. Look at that. And you get one longer five. In the dance of the devil. Just look at this. Everything hates me now. But now the largest. Yeah. 
so how I how I did it. I did everything I said and then I set up a trade route which boosts it a little bit. But it gets you trading with them, so you can actually buy their systems. And some of the systems have great spices because a lot, most of the, they own most of the systems in the center of the galaxy. And something which this is irrelevant, but is Dark Injections relevant? They added the black spice, which I think is worth a lot of money. And I have over here, I have a pink spice. There's black spice right there. My home, kind of homeworld here is yellow spice. All kinds of things. Now look at this. You now have the red aura. This is my uh, captain. Yeah. I now have the red aura. Yeah. Not the Grox. And the ship the Grox sent you is oops, actually pretty amazing. I believe, I believe it has plus 10. Or no, not plus 10. Good lord, what am I saying? Um, 25 or 30 of 100 health. So it's pretty bulky. Not, you know, I have 7,000 health. But, you know. The well, only thing which I don't like is that you can't trade with them. I guess that makes sense because they have to live on, they have, they have to live on the uh, T score of zero. I'll show you the Grox. Uh, let me make sure my yeah auto blaster off. I'm gonna show you a Grox colony, the water planet. Simple rock colony, 15 people, zero turrets, very simple colony. But yeah, they are now my allies, which severs every relationship and puts every. I'm gonna zoom out and show you all what this looks like. Actually, doesn't look that bad. No, I got in contact with these guys over here. I didn't. See, there's homeworlds over here. It doesn't actually look that bad. And what I read is that you, as long as you don't click the, click on the, uh, pardon that popping sound in my headphones if you hear that. It's just, it's the game. If you don't click on the little transmission button over here, they won't go to war with you, technically. So, that's how to stay safe. And if you log in and log out, it'll clear it all. You just don't go in contact with any other species. Because if it severs all alliances. And it takes all your all civilizations minus 150. So unless you are like plus 200 on the alliance. Which a couple of the emperors are. They'll sit back, sit back to like 50. So you can then realliance them. I think. Theoretically. So, and because of this, I want to show you all something as well. I'll make this video a little bit longer. We're going on nine minutes. So, let's travel to the center of the galaxy. Yeah, it makes it harder to travel to the center. Actually, though, let me. Very hard to travel because the gravitation will pull. It, it is the center of the galaxy, so remember that. So, as you can see, it is. And as I get closer, it is pulling in my available travel radius. Ever so slowly. Let's see. See, I have the. I have the, the travel thing. Ten, or five. I think this is actually the smallest it'll go. So don't know where to go from here. I'm gonna follow the green trail. And Grok's refueling stations are expensive, but they're probably going to be worth it. I'm 
trying to see. Yeah, I'm getting pretty close. Looks like you lose the cluster of. Let's see. Oh, was that? That's a good looking much. I'm almost gonna go down here. See my buddies, the Grocks. How do you feel? Okay. And something cool about the Grocks is that once you ally them, you can buy, you can, you trade routes, you can buy their, their systems. And you can, you can build with the Grok stuff, which is something I read on the forum. I mean, because you can't, I mean, people have made their own version of the Grok's stuff. But, you know, it's not that accurate. The only way to get accurate is to use this one made by Maxis. And, yeah. So I'm going to find my way to the center of the galaxy, and I'll be right back. Because oh, this is harder than it looks. I'm having to backtrack myself. I'm trying to find a good-looking path. It looks like over there. Actually, the best path is over here, but I can't get to it, maybe. So I'm going to keep trying, and I'll uh, see what happens. There's a wormhole. I'm going to go through the wormhole and see where it pops me out. SGT 59,000T. See where it takes us out. Probably in this of the galaxy. Hold on. Yeah, that didn't work. See, this is what annoys me. This thing is just out of reach. I can almost reach it, and I, yet I can't. So I get to retrace my steps back and find another path. This is annoying. Ooh, pink spice. That's not even four parsecs away. And with my interstellar drive, I can go like 12 or 13 parsecs. But not here. Let me. And yeah, now. See where else does the grocks go through? It looks like that's promising over there. So look how far out I've gotten. I think this is. I'm getting somewhere though. So I'm just gonna keep rapid clicking. Hope I get somewhere. That arrow points to the core. Yeah, I think I've found my home free ticket to the galactic core. Use another one of these. Maybe getting close. The galactic core. So let's uh let's get on over there, shall we? Three, two, Welcome to the Galactic Core. Let's go into it.
Spuffets and the lamb or the I'll shut it now. Earth, by the way. The Staff of Life. Hmm. That sucks us back. Oh, it's bright. It's really a shame that they discontinued Spore. It really is a huge shame. Oh, Staff of Life. Oof. <laughs> 42 of them. That is awesome. What's this planet right here? Ninety-eight. Let's uh, let's see. Your gifts. Let's gift them. <laughs> let's go on the planet. Let's use the super happy ray and make them happy. Uh, this. I think this is their home planet. Yeah, this is their home planet. Cool. Do 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 they actually have spice reserves. Fully col fully done cities. Fully colonized cities. And there are three of them. Yeah. So I'm gonna go find me a nice little little retreat in the galaxy with some nice looking spore or spice reserves. White spice. Speaking of which, while we're here, let's just, um, you know, staff of life.
too pretty. That's cool. That's really cool. Let's put our city overlooking a, on the side of a mountain. And we are at Gretz. I've never seen white spice before, though. Let's just buy these two. Go place three colonies down. I can now place unlimited cities on planets, apparently, now. Which is awesome. Let's place one right. There we go, right there. And with that, I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, it's loud. Hold on. With that one, uh, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the trip down to Spice Storage. And, uh, yeah. Um, this is supposed to be supposed to be a short video, but I just kind of went crazy with it. So now I want to city right over here. Right about Yeah, my dad just walked in, so. Yeah. Thanks, guys. It was a short video, it turned very long. But, uh, yeah, let's see if it shows my progress. It does indeed. No, it doesn't. There we go. Oh, yeah, I expanded out. It's broken. Very broken. But whatever. So yeah, that's how you uh, rule the galaxy. With an iron fist. You give them gifts. Thanks guys. And have a good day. Yeah.